Alright, hello everybody. So, um, I just got a few more little quick uh, tip tutorials to, uh, to give you guys, and then we'll start doing some projects in them. But this one here, <clears throat> everybody asks me, how do I get clothing uh, patterns into Marvelous Designer to use? Well, remember, this is just something to use. It's not actually, you know, the texture that you want to use, but it's a really nice image of jeans. And as a matter of fact, I've actually got the um, back of the jeans here as well. So this is kind of nice. It's, and they're both about the same size, so it does really good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these pictures into the actual program to, um, to use. So I'm going to push this to the side. And I'm going to create a rectangle. And I'm going to create it as big as... Let's see, the avatar. So let me just pull this, whoops, over a little bit. Let me delete that. And pull that over a little bit. And so let's just say we want to use this as the pattern for the jeans. So all I'm going to do is go to my images on my desktop. And I'm going to just drag and drop the image over here on the actual pattern piece. And so now I can take this and I can do two things with it. Um, well, actually, first let me do let me do this first. So this button up here is called the Edit Pattern button. And when you click on it and click on your pattern piece, it's got a fabric. You get this gizmo, and this gizmo here has quite a few tools on it. The first ones are these four ones that are kitty corner on the circle, and you can use these to scale up and scale down the pattern and it does it uniformly in all four directions so that's the first thing the second thing is you can click right inside of here anywhere and you can move this pattern up or down the next thing you can do is on the uh, three corners here actually it's on the four corners or the up and down and sides and you can pull these and this will stretch it out in one direction, move it a little bit, and you can stretch it out in the other direction as well. So it kind of fits. Let me just do that a little bit more. Okay, so right about there I think is good. And we can even make it a little bit longer if we wanted to. So let me just take this one, pull it down there. Alright, now I'm not going to do this, but when you hover here on this um, black and uh, yellow line, you can actually rotate the pattern. So you can rotate it whatever direction you want. Let me move that back. Um, and so, uh, after we get this done, we use this as um, either the pattern itself or as a template. So I'll show you both ways. I'll use it as um, a pattern first. So patterns, when you make them come in order, one on top of another, you can't draw one pattern inside of another one unless you use one of the other tools here. But um, creating a polygon. So I'll click here on this. And you may think I'm clicking on it, but I'm really not. This is a whole other um, pattern piece. And I'm just going to go around the jeans like this. And I'm just picking a few um, points along the way like this. Nothing too detailed, but I do want to give myself a few places where I can create curves. Okay, so this is the second piece. Now when you make this, the pattern doesn't fit on here like it did on the other one. Although you can tell the pattern is there. So let me click my Edit Pattern button and move this to the side. I'll take this one and move that to the side for a moment. And this one I'll bring back. And so now clicking my Edit Texture, I can move this one into place like that. 
And now I can take my edit curvature button and I can start curving these lines where I need to to make a better shape of the jeans. And so you just keep doing this all the way around. This one here, this dot, might not be such a good uh, one, such a nice place, but you get the idea how this works. And this is not really the texture you're going to use on the jeans. This is just the one that you're using to make the pattern piece for it. Okay, so that one's done, right? If um, I hit sync, watch what happens. Do you see that that outline that we had here is no longer there? It's just the jeans now. All right, so let me turn the sync off. This one is still like that because it's still big. So the other thing that we can do is we can actually start adjusting this rectangle to fit. So um, I'll take my edit pattern button, grab this one and move it in, grab it and move it in. My create a curve, I can create my curve there. And coming down here, I want to just create a few points like it may be well first let me do the curve the curve is a nice tool so I can use that to curve this in and do you see what happens it curves in here but it's curved in too much here so I can I use this edit curvature and just click and pull out a little click and push in Click and push in, click and pull out. So we can do this all the way around the jeans to make it uh, fit the way that we want it to. And I can bring this one in. This is kind of a back and forth thing. You've got to kind of be patient. Um, when I get to there, what I'll do is cl click on my Edit Pattern button and bring this in. And you'll see what it did to my legs. It made them kind of awful, but that's not a big deal. Edit Curvature button again. And pull these out. That one came out a little far. And let me pull this one back out a little. this out a little bit too. All right. This one pull back out. And what's nice about these is no matter where you click, you add one. What's really awful about that is if you click close to one and you don't actually click on it, you make a second one. And having way too many of these isn't always ideal, but you can just delete them if you get one too many. Okay, so obviously these pants are a little bit bigger than I keep um, guessing at their size. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, now for this middle side, this is really, really very easy actually. So you, can, you can't really cut this, but we can put a p point here and a point here. And then I can put um, two points right here in the middle. Select both of these and then move them upward like that. Now, if you can in here, take this curvature button and you can curve it up into that um, area to make a nice curve so and then just work that around a little bit okay so yeah that's pretty good so there you go there is two ways to use an image um, to create your pattern piece and so have fun bringing in pictures and tracing them it's as easy as that